This is about a reducing balance loan sheet in Google Spreadsheets. A reducing balance loan is one in which the interest you pay is based on the amount remaining at the end of each month. So in effect, as that amount decreases with time, the interest you pay also decreases with time. Let's set up a, a sheet showing this with values that are calculated using, using a spreadsheet formulae. To do that, let's set up some basic data. Loan amount. Let's consider $8,000, an annual interest rate of, say, 6%. I have already set these for, the formats here as percent and uh, a currency of dollars using these little toolbars at the top. The monthly interest rate can be calculated using a simple formula in spreadsheets. You start a formula with equal to, click to reference the yearly interest, divided that by 12, and you get the monthly interest. The loan term in years, you can decide. Let's take three years. The loan term in months is simply the loan term in years times 12. So use a simple formula. Start with equal to, reference the loan term, multiply using the asterisk symbol by 12, enter, and that should give you 36. Now the minimum monthly payment is based on a formula that we will see. The minimum monthly formula is given by the standard equation as shown below here. Let's enter this equation in the cell for minimum monthly payment, referencing those different terms there. So we start with an equal to sign, minus R, which in this case is the loan term, I'm sorry, the monthly interest rate, click that cell, times L, which is the loan amount, times one plus R, so the same R, raise that to the power n, where that's the loan term, we're choosing months, so reference the cell E3, divide that by, let's open parentheses, one minus, another parentheses, one plus r, close parentheses, to the power n, which is this cell, close parentheses again, and that should give us uh, the answer of $243.38. So in other words, the calculation gives us the minimum payment that we make monthly, uh, by which we can clear the loan in 36 months by paying the bank annual interest or of 6% or monthly interest as shown there, and, uh, and making the balance zero in 36 months. Now let's set up the loan sheet for the different months that we pay back the loan. You can look at the headers that I've made here, month number, so we'll run that from 1 through 36. Month of payment, we will specify the exact month. The loan balance at the beginning of the month, that will help us determine the interest based on the minimum monthly payment. Then we will also determine the portion that we pay towards interest and then towards the principal. That will help us determine the loan balance at the end of the month. And then we will run this through 36 months, at the end of which the loan balance should become zero, if we have calculated the monthly payment correctly. So let's first start by numbering the months. You can click and, and write one, click on the cell, bring the cursor down to the bottom right corner, click and drag downwards by holding also the command key or the control key. And I have already pre-selected the number of cells as 36, so you do that up to 36. I have chosen to use a grid here, which you can do using this function, or it's called borders. Uh, some people don't prefer to do that. Either way, it's, it's fine. So the month of payment, 
let's start with say the current month which is uh, March 2021 so if I want to set up a series of months in running order all I have to do is set up at least two months in order and then select both those together come to the bottom right corner when the cursor turns into a cross simply click and drag this time you do not need to hold down control or command because you've already established the order there so when you do that drag up to 36 you should get the months in running order correct and even going on to the next year and so on then the loan balance at the beginning of the month so to start with at the beginning of month one, your loan balance is exactly equal to your loan principal. So let's just reference the cell A3. So let's click here, equal to, and reference the cell A3, hit enter. Okay. Now your minimum monthly payment is going to be the same for every month. So just let's reference that as this cell here, F3, hit enter. So we'll copy this into every single month. Now, when you try to copy, I'm sorry, when you try to copy this downwards, let's see what happens. Okay, it's giving an error. Now that's possibly because we have not used a proper referencing. This cell needs to be referenced absolutely which means um, it shouldn't change in value as you drag downwards. And so we need to put a dollar symbol between the alphabet and the letter and the number. Hit enter and now let's click and drag downwards and you can see that it auto fills just that one reference for all the cells that I click and drag down to. Now let's find out the portion paid towards interest in the first month. That would simply be the monthly interest rate times the loan balance at the beginning of the month. So I'll reference that by clicking equal to monthly interest rate times, I'll click on the loan balance, enter, and it tells me that I have $40 as the interest. So out of the minimum monthly payment, if $40 is the interest, then the balance payment that's made is towards the principal. So you can calculate that by simply doing a subtraction of 40 from the minimum monthly payment. And that gives you 203.38. So to be clear, 203.38 plus 40 should equal 243.38. The loan balance at the end of the month will be determined by the loan balance at the beginning of the month and the portion paid to its principal. So the portion paid to its principal reduces your loan balance by that, am that amount. And so at the end of the month, you have an equal to sign the loan balance at the beginning of the month minus the portion paid to its principal, which is 7,796.62. Now, at the beginning of the second month, this value, 7,796.62, is the starting balance. And so we can reference that by typing equal to, clicking the cell, enter. Now let's repeat the same procedure. So I want to do this, I want to find the interest for the second month. I must be careful now to reference just C3 always. So the simple thing to do is, I'll double click here. I'm oh, sorry, I will just click here. No, that's not working. So I'm going to, I'm going to click here. Up here, that's where you can also see the formula. Okay, up here, so C3 needs to have a dollar in between so that I'm referencing only that. 
Now C6 doesn't need a dollar because that, that cell is going to be referenced relative to the position where I drag the cursor, right? We need to look at different cells to find out the interest for the different values of the loan balance. And so now I've referenced that correctly. Let me click and drag down at least by one. So it's giving me the new interest for this loan balance. You see the interest is a little lower because the loan balance is a little lower. Once again, let's subtract the portion paid towards interest from the minimum monthly payment. So it should be good to just hit here, drag downwards, and you can see there that you pay a slightly higher value towards the principal this time. Once again, the loan balance at the end of the month is simply the difference between those two. If I drag downward. And so now in order to copy the formulae downwards into all the cells, what we will do is select the cells that have the loan balance, MMP, portion paid to its interest, portion paid to its principal and loan balance. Select one set or one row and come to the bottom right, make sure all the cells are highlighted there. At the bottom right, when the cursor turns into a cross, click and simply drag downwards. There's no need to hold down command or anything else. Uh, drag right up to the very bottom and you should be able to populate all the cells with the correct calculations as we have set up in the beginning. Now let's do a quick check. The loan balance, as you can see, decreases. The portion paid towards the interest decreases with time and the portion paid towards the principal increases with time. But the way we can really check to see whether the formulae have worked well, including the minimum monthly payment formula, is that at the end of the 36th month, the loan balance should be zero. And that's what you see here. So you, you, this tells us that our formulae are correct and that we have also programmed sheets correctly.